We're shifting Halloween to tonight or the day after, and let's find out about what's going down. Well, if you moved it to this evening, you really lucked out because tonight is perfect for trick or treating. Temperatures are in the 60s right now. It's going to be dry all night. You have no weather concerns whatsoever. Completely different story moving forward. It's downhill the rest of the week. Quite honestly, we've got rain headed our way and a lot of it, folks. We're talking about almost a month's worth of rain in about three days for many of us. And while it's mild now, it's about to turn chilly. So not only will it be wet, it's also going to be on the cool side. So across the region at the moment, we've got mostly clear skies. We had lots of sunshine today. A nice southwesterly push of wind sent highs in the 60s, almost knocking on the door of 70 degrees. But here's what I'm eyeing out to our west tonight. Again, it still looks fairly benign, but you can kind of see the beginnings of some rain developing up across parts of the western Great Lakes. This is going to become a powerhouse storm system and really stretch itself out across the Ohio Valley and bring multiple rounds of a prolonged heavy rainfall event across the region. So basically, we have this flood watch in effect. We're calling for a widespread three to five inches of rainfall, the bulk of which will really fall late tomorrow night and during the day on Thursday. So I'm not really terribly concerned about what we would consider flash flooding, where you get the rapid water rises in poor drainage areas. This is more for those smaller creeks and streams, for example, that are in your neighborhoods and your community. Those are going to rise rapidly with this amount of rain. And then eventually in time, we might have to start watching the rivers like the Great Miami, the Little Miami, maybe even the Ohio, but that would be down the line. The immediate concern would be kind of your neighborhood creek or stream that you often overlook and really don't think about that could have some significant water rises heading into the next couple of days. There's no way to get around it. It's looking soggy for Halloween. If I had a little bit of a silver lining in the forecast, it would be that there might be a let up in the heavy rain for trick or treating tomorrow evening for those towns that have decided to try to wait it out. But I'm not going to tell you it's dry because there's no if ands or buts about it. It's going to be a wet day tomorrow after the start in the morning. Beautiful outside right now. Lots of sunshine. 67 degrees at the airport. That southeasterly breeze here this evening will help keep temperatures mild through the night. Most of us at the moment are generally in the mid 60s. Again, close to 70. Mason 66. Hamilton at 68. You're in the mid 60s over in southeast Indiana. So we'll spend the first part of the evening in the 60s, and we really don't get down into the 50s until after midnight. Let me show you future cast here. No problems tonight. You should be dry through the start of the morning commute too. But come 9, 10 o'clock, by noon, for sure, most of us will have at least seen some rain, and then it just continues. Here's your 7, 730 break, but it's very short lived. Again, I can't guarantee that we're going to get through that trick or treating time tomorrow evening without any rainfall. But boy, the water hose really opens up tomorrow night and into Thursday, and it just keeps on raining. In fact, there's rain in the forecast through Friday, and you can clearly see the reason why we have this flood watch in effect because a solid three to five inches of rain is anticipated by Friday evening. The possibility of even locally higher amounts. So quiet tonight. Enjoy it. 56 for the overnight low should be a very pleasant October night. Tomorrow rain arrives breezy 65 for a high. In fact, the winds will be such that they will be driving that rain around at times, especially over the next couple of days. So I've made basically any time from afternoon into the evening and an impact day. Here's your seven day forecast Thursday, Friday, all weather impact days. Looks like Saturday over the weekend. Mike and Shree will get a little break for drier weather conditions. And don't forget, we get that extra hour of sleep Saturday well, night. Well, that makes up for all of it, Kevin. Thank you. A Florida man says his Tesla's on.